Good morning, handsome. Are you doing your business? Yeah? Or are you trying to pay attention to Miss Rachel? He's so invested. You guys, sometimes when I need to get stuff done, I'll put her on and he is legit like in a trance watching her. Hi, baby. Where are you going? Want go outside? Hi. Balcony's all done. Got some flowers up there. Got a little nook over here with a uh, patio umbrella that has lights on it. It's so pretty at nighttime when it's all cranked out. Maxwell and the kids love to come out here and just chill out. And then the side, it's nice and cozy too. If you guys missed my balcony video, I will link it down below, but I redid this whole thing. So it's like a balcony DIY. Hey, baby. You guys remember that coat that I wanted from Target? It was on clearance the other day and I bit the bullet and got it. It was $18. From 45 to 18 I should have got a little bit of a bigger size for a little bit of a baggier look, but I think this is going to be perfect for spring. So, super excited to wear it. I'm just wearing all black outfit today. My little hat. And we're about to go get Sophia at 12. It's 11.45 right now. She's at preschool. And then we're going to pick up the big girls at 12.30. They have conferences all week. So they've been getting out at 12.30 the whole week. I'm gonna go pick them up in a little bit. I think we're gonna run to Costco and get my Alani's. Um, I've been going to Yolks and getting them two for five. And at Costco, they're like a dollar and 87 cents each or something like that, but two for five. That's just cost me so much money to get them. And they give me all the energy that I need. I got my little coffee cup, my little coffee tumbler that I got from Timu a long time ago. Let me show you guys what I put in it. So I put in mostly this busy cold brew and zero sugar um, Italian sweet cream creamer and then some Orgain chocolate, chocolate fudge protein shake. All these together, you guys. So long. Little Miss Sophia, say hi to the vlog. Hi. Say happy Friday. So it's fun Friday. I'm wearing, if you notice my lips are different, I'm wearing the Tartiste lip paint by Tarte. And this is in the shade Throwback Thursday. Super pretty. Very matte. And it's very uh, minty. I love it.
You want a cheeseburger, right? Yeah. Oh, terrible. No, half bottle. Half bottle. Hi, can I have a um, hamburger Happy Meal with extra french fries and chocolate milk? Okay. And barbecue sauce or ranch? And a ranch, please. Thank you. Oh, yep. Thanks. You too. Sophia doesn't eat lunch at school. Um, we pick her up right at 12. All she has is a snack. So we do breakfast at home and then lunch at home. Or like when I'm out like this and have to pick up the girls at 12.30, I just stop at McDonald's. I think I cook a lot, but there are times when... We're eating on the road a lot, also. Thank you. Um, can you make sure to put a ranch in there? Thanks. Thank you. You too. Thank you. We just got here to 7-Eleven every Friday for the past few months. We've been coming and getting Slurpees for Fun Friday for 7-Eleven from 7-Eleven and we're here, we're gonna get our Slurpees and we're gonna go back home and chill out for the rest of the day. Slurpee time! Okay, we're home now, everyone's drinking their Slurpees. I wanted to show you guys these Hydro Pets that Layla got for her birthday. Um, last year in 2023 when she turned six we just now opened them having so many kids and so many birthday parties and inviting so many people to their birthday parties they don't get to open up all of their gifts at one time I let them kind of I kind of disperse their gifts out kind of over the months if that makes any sense it's better for them it makes them appreciate their toys more and their gifts so Layla's birthday was in August they just got around to opening this, this these are called hydro pets and they are little eggs. They hatch, they grow, and they mature. Watch them hatch, watch them grow, and watch them swim. They are, it comes with a hydro tank, a power cable that changes, changes the lights, food, stickers, and it comes with the little fish in there. It's really cool. You can get it on Amazon. I will link it down below in the description box, but the girls really like it. Layla just uh, fed her little fish, and we're excited to see them grow. We haven't really seen any them growing yet, but this right here and this right here are little magnifying glasses. And if you look close enough, you can... Oh, I see it swimming! I just saw one swimming! Yeah, Shook! I saw a couple of them. Layla! You know you can see them swimming in here? Oh, I guess, well, I guess I'm late to the game. Everyone's already seen them swimming except for me. This big thing right here and this big thing right here is a magnifying glass. And if you look close enough, you can see them swimming. Cool. So anyways, I forgot I got these at Winco a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to put them in my candy jars for Easter. What? Can I have one? Sure. Pink. Okay. I love almonds. You're going to hurt yourself, honey. How pretty those colors are. So pretty. But yeah, if you have a kiddo that's old enough and interested in like a science project or learning about science and the growth of little fish and things like that and the maturity of fish, definitely check into these. I think they're around 20 bucks, but they're really cool. They're 24. 24. It teaches you how to take care of them, how to feed them. Um, kind of the same concept as having a fish. All of the kids ate lunch. Shukri, Layla ate lunch at school. Maxwell and me had like a little bit of snacking stuff. I've been snacking on chicharrones, which is pork rinds and pickles. And then Sophia had her Happy Meal. Um, but it's 2 o'clock and all the kids are hungry, so we're going to do tuna melts. And I'm just using a couple cans of Safe Catch Tuna from Costco. It's Ahi Wild Yellowfin Tuna. And then I have some Dave's Killer Bread 21 Whole Grain and Seeds. This is a thin sliced. 
I'm gonna add some boiled eggs, some avocado, tomatoes, if we have tomatoes, I don't know if we have tomatoes, but, and then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, some Slap Your Mama seasoning, and some pickles. Okay, the tuna salad is done. I have some sharp cheddar here, and then I have some bread in the air fryer. I'm gonna add it with some sharp cheddar to the top, and then I'm gonna add this. Put it back in the air fryer, everything's gonna melt and get nice and warm, and then we're gonna have tuna melts. Okay, I took the bread, I spread the tuna melt stuff on it, the tuna salad on it, and then I sprinkled it with this sharp cheddar cheese, farm style shreds, and then I'm going to put it in here for three minutes. Yum! This looks so good. Now I'm going to cut up some avocado, put some avocados on them. Who wants avocados on theirs? And then they'll be all done. The kids are in here having a little dance party, listening to some YouTube music and playing something on YouTube. But I have a huge order right here from Kohl's that is for an upcoming um, sponsorship that you guys will be seeing. So that's what that stuff is, in case you're wondering. I actually need to take it up to my room. So this fun Friday, we were having a super chilled, laid back fun Friday. We decided to put on We Can Be Heroes and just relax. Normally, um, during family movie night, we would have all the lights off, but for the purpose of this vlog, I left it on. I went ahead and fed the kids some leftover spaghetti and French bread. It was delicious. Maxwell has been indulging in the spaghetti that I made. Um, if you guys want to see my recipe for spaghetti, let me know down in the comments. I will make it again because we make it about once a week. The kids love it. It's super kid friendly and I love it. I am doing slow carb dieting right now. So I am doing slow carb or no carb and super high protein. I've already lost six pounds in one week and I would love to share with you guys some easy recipes for you guys to shed a couple pounds and get a healthy lifestyle also. If you are interested in that, let me know down in the comments. So while the kids were watching their movie and I was getting a little restless, I decided to get up and pick up the kitchen. I have been in the habit lately of cleaning up the kitchen before I go to bed so I can wake up in the morning with a nice, clean, fresh kitchen and a nice, clean, fresh state of mind. And it has been working wonders on any anxiety and depression that I have, you guys. Definitely, if you are a wash the dishes and clean the kitchen before bed type, let me know down in the kitchen. Or if you are struggling that with that, also let me know. What is the one thing that you have to do before bed in order to wake up to a clean, fresh home in the morning? If I had the energy, I would end up vacuuming every single night. I love me some good, solid vacuum lines. There's nothing better in my opinion. I got this pineapple from Yolks a few days ago. The kids have been craving it, and I figured what better night than a fun Friday night than to cut it open and indulge in some juicy pineapple.
So while the kids are eating their juicy, sweet pineapple, I am going to clean out my air fryer, you guys. It was so disgusting in there and it was just due for a nice, good scrub down. Let me know what's the proper way to clean a the inside of an air fryer. I have the Drew Barrymore Beautiful Air Fryer. I love it, but I've been struggling with how to keep it clean. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks on how you clean it. So that is going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. You eating a little snack? You eating a little snack? Is it so good? You like pineapple? You ready to go night night? Mmm, is it delicious? Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure